Hey everybody, this is Justin Smith with runrepeat.com, the number one website to not only get the best shoe reviews on the internet, but also find the best prices for your shoes that you want. Today we're going to be reviewing the Zero Speed Force. It's a minimalist shoe from Zero. What do you think about this shoe, Luna? I would classify it as a barefoot shoe. There's really not a whole lot to it. You just got this uh, thin, full rubber outsole, which provides excellent traction, tiniest bit of padding, and it's got a removable, super thin insole. And to cut down on the weight, they've got little holes all throughout the insole. Otherwise, there's not a whole lot of padding to this shoe. It's basically a sandal with, uh, with an upper attached to it. Beat Force is ultra flexible. I'm gonna just use my pinky. No pain, no pressure on my pinky. Super ultra flexible shoe. The shoe is billed as a Racing shoe, when I think of a racing shoe, I think of a shoe that's not quite this flexible. It doesn't have a whole lot of uh, responsiveness to it. It doesn't really give you any sort of a kick forward. So as far as a racing shoe, I'm not really sure that I would call it that, but it is ultra light. The lightest shoe that Zero offers. That's not just a sandal. Things I don't like about the shoe. There's no two ways about it. This shoe is ugly. It looks like an orthopedic shoe had a baby with a bowling shoe, kind of. So if you're really concerned with looks, not the greatest though. For Zero, it's probably a little more stylish than uh, the other shoes that they have. But they are more thinking about performance and feel than they are about looks. The Speed Force does run about a half size small. So I would size up a half size from your normal running shoe size. I haven't had too much of a problem with it, but definitely want to size up a half size on this shoe. Things that I like about this shoe. I like the ultra flexibility of this shoe. I really, I really do. It's not what I would consider a racing shoe, but uh, I really love ultra flexible shoes. The outsole, the full rubber outsole on this shoe provides excellent grip. It's got these small little treads. So if you want to do some trail running, you can do some trail running in these. If it's not too hard of a, a trail, I wouldn't do anything with rocks. Nothing too rocky in these, just because of the super thinness of the insole. One of the, the best things is the, the heel counter that you have here. Everything is super soft, super flexible throughout, but there's this thin nylon band right here that goes, attaches at the laces and goes down across the heel and up to the other laces on the other side. So when you tie your shoe, you are basically securing and snugging up that heel counter onto your heel to make sure that there's absolutely no slippage without having one of those super hard pieces of plastic in there that can cut into your Achilles. Shoe makes for a good uh, cheek rub. It gives you a, a good cheek rub if you, if you really want a good cheek rub. It can, it can provide that. Um, if that's what you're looking for in a shoe. Speed Force is currently retailing for $100. I would say that that is expensive for what you get, but extremely fair compared to other minimalist shoes that are out there. It's less expensive than your better known brands like Merrill, but more expensive than your no name brands uh, that you can get on Amazon. But if you want to get the best price for this shoe, you can go to runrepeat.com. They'll show you all the sellers of the shoe and what the prices are, and you can go get your shoe that way. In conclusion, I think that the Speed Force is a great shoe. Super flexible, super light, super ugly shoe. 
but it is a really, really great barefoot shoe. I would give it a solid B plus, A5 to 88 out of 100. For shoe reviews and to find the best prices on all the shoes that you want, check out runrepeat.com. Until next time, be well and run happy.